Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you all the Spirit Corps locations in the Chengyu Vale area. So the new area added in the 4.4. These items are counted as, um, we can say, Oculus of the area. It's just like um, the Lumen Stone for the Chasm Underground or that item for this flower here. Uh, and with the, this area we have this item called Spirit Corp. I will need you to complete some pre-requirements if you want to collect all of them and to unlock the offering system. So, the pre-requirements are Complete the Chain of World Quest, Chen Yu's Blessing of Sun Kun Jade. There are four acts in total, actually three acts in total, but there is a sequel to unlock the uh, offering system, which is this one here, the Carp's, uh, Carp's Rest. You can teleport here and let me show you. Basically that. You can offer it here. So remember to do this, because else you cannot even um, offer. Then I will need to complete the Shrouded Veil Hidden Hero, which is the main world quest of the Kuhua in this place here. A really, really short uh, triple quest. You can do all three together in like 20-30 minutes. The Shrouded Veil Hidden Hero is the last one. The first one is a one Shan Walk to remember. Then after you complete this one, you will start the scrolls and the sword manuals of Kuhua. And in the end is a Shrouded Veil Hidden Hero. After that, um, another pre-requirement is to complete the um, puzzle, Treasure Hoarders Warehouse. This one is to unlock this cave, which will allow you to collect one of the carp. And in the end, complete the big puzzle here at the Chijang Wall, which is called Ancestor's Mystery. At this position here. So after we did all these pre-requirements, we can start with the, with the collection. I will divide it into two routes, so starting with the first half. Uh, with the 25 of them, in total there are 50. Starting from the statue of the seven, so let's teleport to this teleport waypoint, and we can go. The first one, once you teleport here, watching toward west direction, do you see that the boat is on the top side of it? Really simple. Let's go. I, I will try to don't use the Yellow skill because else people will complain. Anyways, climb this. What are you doing, Yellen? Climb this thingy. Oh my god. Okay, climb this thingy. Alright, first one. Oh yeah, I have one in my bag because I mistakenly took one here, but I will show you anyway, so don't worry. So if you took this one, let's teleport to this teleport waypoint here. And watching toward the northeast direction. It's right here below above the building, so fly toward it. Nice. To can this, let's teleport to the Chao Ying village. Teleport waypoint. The next one is at the top side of that teapot. So nothing hard, just go and go to a high place and then jump toward it. Hello Uncle Lua. Okay, here it is. Now the next one is at the top side of um, that uh, building, as you can see on the most top side. So we have to climb a lot. But we are expert climbers. From these stairs here, then let's go to this side. Get above using this. Oh! Okay, get above using this part of the house. Jump. Okay. Here we go. Now teleport to this teleport waypoint here, we're going to take this too. The first one is the one I told you, which the requirement is to complete the treasure hoarders... Uh, mm, treasure hoarders uh, warehouse which will allow you to unlock this cave here behind. So after you unlock this place, just fly toward it and go inside this tunnel. If you don't do, if you don't do the pre-requirement, you will see a iron golem here, a ring golem. It's right here. To can this just to get out from the same place. Climb out. 
and go toward the north direction, ignoring all the enemies. Basically, by defeating a ring golem here, close to that chest you will be able to find a core. And using that core you will wake up that other ring golem, blocking the path, and then you can just uh, get in. Now once you get in this ruin, just destroy the uh, spider nest, and get this one. After talking the number 6, we can teleport now to this teleport waypoint again, and this time we go toward southwest direction, toward that building. The next one, as you can see, is on the sky, but how to reach it? Just fly toward it first. Don't ask. When you get close enough, you will see that on the top side of this building there are a lot of geo particles. You have to collect them, so watching toward that um, um, carp uh, particle, fly toward it, and then shoot yourself into here. Now collect these three geo particles, then these three geo particles, then go downside, collect these geo particles. You will create this. Um, a thingy on top side. So, teleport here and teleport here. Oh no! Ah, bra. It's pretty hard to control. Okay. Now activate this one. Activate this one. Let me activate it. Okay, activate this one, which will shoot you to the sky. So, you can take it. Once you took in this one, fly toward the south direction. Uh, I'm not asking you to collect it, so don't worry if you cannot get it, but just uh, fly to here. So just uh, drop down. And uh, just uh, watching toward uh, this um, mm, that uh, carp particle, fly toward it, and then watch above that one, and in the end, shoot yourself uh, to this one. Really simple, right? Now, once you took in this one, just follow this road going toward upstairs at the northwest direction. The next one is above that tree. And here you will find a small statue. Click it on the statue. I mean, interact with it. So you can shoot on the sky at this thingy. So one here, one here, one here. Yeah, that's more than enough. So you can shoot one here. Then just teleport to it. Mm -hmm. Then shoot toward this one. Nice, collect it. Perfect. The next one is here at this teleport waypoint underground. This one is locked. Uh, Pre-requirement is the world quest of Kuhua. So you need to complete the world quest uh, Shrouded Veil, Hidden Hero. And after that world quest, you can teleport to this teleport waypoint. So teleport to it. And that one is right above here. So what you have to do is to... Mm, teleport to that uh, carp particle and shoot yourself uh, above here. Nice, perfect. Once you're looking this one, teleport outside at this teleport waypoint. And uh, go uh, north direction, you see that uh, uh, is flying here, right, between this mountain. How to get it? On right side you will find a particle here, so just uh, touch it. And shoot yourself toward that one, on left side. When you get close enough, press T, or this button on bottom right corner if you're a phone user, and then shoot yourself toward it. Nice. Now teleport to this teleport waypoint on left side. Watching south direction, jump down. This is a really simple one. Jump down again. Is on this tree. Okay, right there. Okay, to can this one, teleport back at this same teleport waypoint, and this time you have to climb a bit above that building. So let's take the road here. Okay, when you reach here, uh, on right side, just teleport to the carp particle, then this next carp particle, and then shoot yourself toward the building. Okay. 
Now, don't teleport anywhere, just jump down, going toward that small island bottom side there. At the northwest direction. Here is because I already completed the easter egg of the giant turtle. So when I get close, you can see there's a giant uh, turtle there. And uh, normally you don't have these particles. Uh, you can just interact with that uh, Thompson to summon him. Anyways, this carp is right here. To can this teleport to now to this teleport waypoint above the wharf. And watching toward the east direction, as you can see, is right on that uh, boat. Just fly, uh, jump and fly. Glide to it. Okay, now climb this pillar. Slowly, slowly, no need to rush. Nice, perfect. To can this teleport back again at this, at this teleport waypoint. The next one is above this building behind you. Uh, not this one, that one, on the top side. But how to get it? Normally you couldn't climb, unless you have John Lee or Kazuha here, so you can just get up. Uh, the easiest way is to use this uh, temperature challenge, bottom side. Then activate it. If you want, you can keep this one and collect it after the chest guide together with me, because uh, uh, this is not the account I will use for the chest hunting. So I'm collecting this first. Climb here. Okay, last one, collect. So, opening the chest will summon this dinghy. So, uh, just activate it. Okay, perfect, we got it. It will teleport, yeah, keep uh, let us uh, fly toward uh, this place, uh, which is our next uh, goal. So, just teleport to here. Then, uh, keep go. Until you reach this part with the uh, uh, looks uh, precious chest on bottom side. So let's guide the three sealies back. The first one, um, as we can see, is right uh, below there, so we have to kill these enemies first. Okay, after you kill them, guide the sealie back. Uh, the next one is above that tree, so you have to use this device. So kill these enemies first. After you kill them, shoot here, then tip it to it. Okay, then now just to get the city. This time he wants to go there. Okay, shoot yourself to the city. Nice. Last one is above uh, there. Below that tree. Oops. I didn't mean to use uh, uh, Yellen skill. It was uh, muscle memory. Investigator here. Investigator here. Investigator here. Okay, silly can out. So after you unlock this chest, you have to also open it again to summon this thingy. So up to you if you want to take it together. Anyways, let's take it this one, which will bring us topside. And finally, we can collect this. A uh, exquisite, exquisite chest will also spawn. Now, if you want, you can just take it, uh, but I will not uh, take. Then the next one is at this position, so you can teleport uh, directly to the teleport waypoint, or you can just uh, do this, because I guess uh, the time uh, should be the same. Yeah, teleporting takes a few seconds. Doing this also takes a few seconds. Anyways, 
Once you teleport to this level waypoint, go toward the east direction, jump down. The next one is on the sky, so just directly fly to it. To can this one, just fly to here, then shoot yourself toward that one. Because the next one is here, in this building, at the south direction. Let's fly to that. Okay. Shoot. Is above that building, so fly to it. Nice. Next one, teleport to this teleport waypoint below. And this time we go on e west direction. So jump down. Go below a bit more. Okay, here. He's um, above that, uh, actually in the middle of that uh, tree. can this uh, teleport back at this teleport waypoint uh, and this time go toward south direction we have to go above that mountain right. mm, we don't care about these uh, enemies so. wait for some stamina and climb it Okay, once you're upstairs, just uh, get the power up from this and stay below the thingy. Jump. Nice. Now, teleport to this teleport waypoint here. We have to get up into this mountain, so watching toward that um, carp uh, particle, TP to it. Okay, then TP to upstairs. Next, the carp. Okay. And then go here. In order to get this one, you need to do this small puzzle bottom side. How to do this? Basically, just pick one of these statue up. He will say. They take a forest uh, among the sky. Uh, hmm. This one, uh, I guess, uh, wants to watch uh, the forest. So that side, uh, watching toward the south direction, probably. So put it uh, here. Let me see if he's okay. That's right. Yes, perfect. Now, uh, take this one below the tree. Water surface. So probably toward uh, fountain. So watching toward the west direction. Put it here. And in the end, this one. So pick it up. Clouds. So that side toward... Uh, um... Yeah, Chao Ying Village. Hmm, he changed direction to there. Anyways, we will get this Luxuru chest. You have to open this Luxuru chest. Only after you open it, you can use this, um, yeah, golden crap carp. So let's use it and collect the collectible there. Okay, nice. At this point, from here, you have to teleport, uh, you have to fly toward this position here. Remember? So, watching toward the uh, bottom side there, as you can see here, just a fly. Jump, and then glide toward there. You can already see a glowing point in the center. Because if you teleport the bottom side, there's no way to get up. Uh, Easily, because else you have to climb the entire building, which is a which is pain in ass to climb. So just uh, glide to it, which is uh, easier. Now, when you reach this place, uh, just interact with this glowing point, uh, investigate, uh, then uh, 
Activate it. And we will open this uh, uh, barrier. Inside there is a um, luxury chest. And uh, here, uh, how to say, um, the thing we want to collect as well. The scar. The spirit car. Nice, perfect. After talking this one, just uh, TP to that uh, purpose orb outside. Fly here. Downside here you will find another cave. And inside is our next spirit car. Right here in the water. Now, last one of this route. So teleport to this teleport waypoint here. After you teleport to here, just watch behind you, okay, toward this mountain. So TP to here, then TP to upstairs, and then go a bit to here, and then go downside. Like uh, on the bottom side of this building, you will see a time trial challenge. We're gonna use this one to get to our next goal. We don't want to collect anything, so just TP to upstairs. Here, then here, shoot yourself to here, get to here. And then shoot yourself to bottom side. Here it is. Just to go upstairs a bit. Jump, glide down. Perfect. And now we got 25 in total, yes. Well, I have one extra because as I said at the beginning, I took one mistake from here. So it's 25 from this place. Now go take a bit of rest and we continue later to take the rest 25. Here we go, next route to the last 20, uh, 25, starting point, this is, this is Statue of the Seven, so teleport here. And first of all, we go toward the north direction, so just from here, jump down. This one is right sitting above that, um, uh, that table, so we can just come here and take it. Really simple. Now teleport back at the Statue of the Seven, and we go behind here toward south east direction toward this ruin is in right inside the ruin here but we have to get a key where's the key just going in front of a bit more here a glowing point interact with it investigate you will get a run a, no you will get a rust worn key now open this door with this key, so you can get this one, perfect. You can this one, get out, now go toward the west direction, you have to take this uh, carp energy, okay, and then fly to here, nice. You can this, uh, the next spirit carp, teleport to the um, carp uh, orb at the east direction, then go to that one, Okay, and now if you watch toward the uh, east direction, you will see the next one flying here on the sky. Just uh, glide to it, get it, and uh, drop down. Drop down until you see the next one below that uh, pillar. So you can tip it to this one if you want, and then just uh, do this. Very simple. Now once you've taken this on bottom side, you can teleport outside using this teleport waypoint. And go toward the Chizan uh, uh, ruin. I mean the yeah the ruin here. The next one is in the middle of this uh, building. So take the take that uh, carp uh, carp uh, orb and shoot yourself toward it. Nice. Now go inside that building. And the requirement to open this gate is to do the ancestors um, mystery. And as you can see, is on top side uh, here. So just uh, climb one of the pillar. And then jump. To Candesa. Now teleport to this state of the seven. And go follow the road going toward south direction.
until you see a waterfall. So downside here. Just to get down, teleport to that uh, carp uh, elemental orb, shoot yourself toward the upstairs, like this. So you can now teleport to that one. And then shoot toward the east direction. This is the next. After you got the... Oh, didn't got it. Okay, after you get it, just teleport back using the carp again. And this time... Climb this mountain on left side, so south direction. Shoot toward that next. Okay, now this one, go upstairs in the mountain. Here we go. Now you have to kill the slimes to create the wind current. Okay. After you kill them all, open the chest. And get uh, using the air current to get this one. I don't like the fact that a lot of them you have to open the chest. Because most of them I'm keeping them for the chest hunt, you know. And the fact that you have to open to um, unlock something is really... I hate it. Anyways, now go to the Yaudi Valley, this silver waypoint. Just in front of you, TP to this carp elemental board. And... Press a space uh, to get out. It's right uh, inside it. Here. Okay. Gotten this one, teleport out. Uh, and uh, follow the road going toward that uh, ruin. At the right, right side. So south direction. Uh, this cave here. If it's the first time you come inside this cave, you will probably start the world quest. Um, the butterfly blah blah blah. It's better if you complete it, so you can use the uh, carp teleporting around. You just get down. Okay, once you get to here, just uh, behind you, as you can see. Okay. To can this one, just TP uh, back here and keep follow the tunnel. Okay, once you're inside here, teleport to this one. Then shoot your soil to a bit uh, upper. Take this one. On left side, in this small house, is the next. Taking this, get out. On your left side, here is the next one. Teleport here. And you will see in front of you, at the north direction, this cave with some spiders. So first of all, just to kill this enemy. So, oops. Kill the spider first. So you can get in and take that one. To take this one, just to climb. Okay. Now teleport to this teleport waypoint uh, on the surface and on south direction inside this uh, ruin, tower ruin, we can find it next. Let's get a Nemo character. Anyone is fine. And uh, hit that wind wheel. Okay. So now we can fly up and get this. Perfect. Once we get this one, watching toward um, west direction, just to take that uh, orb again. Go on this mountain. Here. Get close to the statue so we can jump with the jump boost and get the next one. Okay. Took in this. Just teleport to this teleport waypoint. And we go toward south direction. Toward this ruin here. Okay, it's inside here. You have to break this up. Uh, thing. So, break it in the corner. Get it. Now get out from this. Uh... Oh, if you get in, you will get trapped. So just, uh, you can te te teleport out, to be honest. Yeah. Instead of wasting time. And now just to go toward the east direction. Southeast.
Here downside you will find a cave. Just to get inside. And the next one is a flying. There. So go toward it. And catch it. Here we go. Token this. Teleport to this teleport waypoint here. You can see he's on the he's flying again uh, on the sky, so just uh, go toward uh, there's a stat there's a statue on the right side. Shoot one of the ball on the sky and tip it to it. Now get it. Perfect. Gotten this one, teleport to this teleport waypoint, that's the mountain uh, Shan, uh, Shanlian. And uh, this is the one I took mistakenly um, without recording. So basically the bottom side. Uh, how to get this one? Let me explain. Uh, just to get down. Drop downside and I take this uh, thingy. So activate it. And uh, this uh, fish will just let you take it. Really simple. So after we got this one, mm, this one here I took uh, for mistake. Uh, just uh, teleport to this uh, carp orb. Now this carp orb and above this building. Here we go. After we took this one, uh, let's just uh, teleport back to the carp orb and this time shoot yourself to the most upstairs. Here. Climb a bit. Okay, here, and then here. Climb a bit more. And reach this place. On the sky you will see the next one. Get closer to the statue so you can jump a boost, teleport to the next orb, and next orb again. Here we go. Nice. Took in this one, watching toward the northeast direction. The next orb is right there, I don't know if you can see it. Just shoot yourself and then glide toward it. Or another way is to downside you see that uh, statue on right side. If you cannot manage to get it, oops, not enough uh, hide, just to go to that uh, statue and uh, shoot uh, orb there and then tip it to it. Really simple. Nice. So gotten this, you can teleport now to this teleport waypoint on bottom side. And go toward the northwest direction. This one is above here. As you can see on the sky. So go below it first. Right here, so you can shoot on the sky. This one, tip it to it, and then shoot yourself toward the okay, carp, spirit carp. Perfect. Now, last two remain guys, which are at the same island where the offering thing is. First of all, teleport to this teleport waypoint here. This one on your back, so behind you, teleport to this orb, and it's downside there, on that small island. You can this, teleport back again at the same teleport waypoint, and this time we go in front of us, toward that giant building in the sky. Remember to don't teleport toward it, because else you will be, you will be teleported underground. So just climb. Here there's an invisible pet. Take it, wait for some stamina, jump down, and glide toward the last one. Here we go. Last spirit carp also got. Now we can go down, uh, downside. And 50 of them. Spirit carp. Let's go here and offer them. Rain Jade Oblation. Let me see. Return Spirit Car.
Wow. Thank you. Ah. So let's go here. Is level 10. We will be able to get, uh, so in total, uh, mm, four standard pulls, two uh, intermune, so limited pulls, better than nothing. So, hope this video helped you guys to collect um, all the spirit carp. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye!